So millennials do want to get married and they do want to buy homes, but they don't tend to want to buy homes until they're married. And the problem there is that millennials typically delaying marriage compared to their parents. Uh, over the past few decades, millennials have delayed marriage by about six years compared to previous generations, from 23 to 29 for men and from 20 to 26 for women. And since it's difficult to get the money together for a down payment before marriage, and also you don't necessarily want to buy a home with someone unless you're married to them, that's also delayed homeownership rates. But a study by Zillow, the real estate website, has found that assuming millennials actually did get married at the same rate as previous generations, they would have roughly the same home ownership rate as we did back in the 1990s. So I think a lot of people talk about how millennials don't want to get married ever, about how they're just on Tinder all the time, and they're online dating, you have so many options, so you can't possibly choose. And I don't really think that's what's happening. I think millennials still value the institution of marriage. They still see it as something that they want to do, and they still value it as kind of a commitment to a partner, but they see it as less necessary for the life goals they want to do. I mean, I know plenty of millennials who are living together, who um, you know have merged accounts, own a car or a credit card, or even a home together without being married. And I guess for them, it's just more of marriage as a formality. They know they want to do it, um, they value it, but it's not you know, super urgent. There are other things they want to do first. I think it's taking longer to reach some of the important life milestones, important financial milestones, uh, and people just don't feel ready to commit to marriage before they're financially stable. So, you know, the average grad has $28,000 in debt. Um, the average person out of grad school has $58,000 in debt. Uh, a lot of people are still unemployed. Uh, a lot of people are still living with their parents, so they don't feel like adults. They don't feel like they're ready to form a new household. I can speak from experience. I'm married. I do value marriage. You know, I didn't get married in a church. There might be some truth to that millennials aren't doing traditional weddings. They're not getting married in religious ceremonies as much, but I'd be willing to bet that that's probably not that different from even Gen X and some of the later baby boomers.